Welcome to Highline Excel class number 35. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Week 7, Business 214. Hey, if you're enrolled in the class, just go to our Week 7 website. Hey, here we got to talk about the if function when you have more than one if in a formula, and then we want to talk about the VLOOKUP. Now, here's the situation. Here is your salary, your, I'm sorry, your sales, and we need to calculate your bonus. Ah, but there's different bonus rates depending on what your sales are. From uh, zero up to, but not including 5,000, you don't get any commission. For five, equal to 5,000 or greater, but less than 10,000, you get a 2% commission, and above uh, 10,000 greater than or equal to 10,000 you're going to get a 4%. Now the trick here is to look before you start your if when you have more than one if and count how many things you could possibly put into the cell. How many things are there? Well we have either 0, 2, or 4 percent. So there's three possible uh, percentage rates that we want to put in this cell. So if you have three things you're going to need two ifs. And there's a little note here about that. If you had four commission rates, or five, or six, or seven, let's say you had seven, then you need six ifs. That's uh, rule number one. You count the things, and it's one less than that for your ifs. The other thing is if um, you have mutually exclusive categories, and that means if your sales number fits into this category, it can't fit into one of the other categories. I always think of mutually exclusive as you're dating just one person, right? So if you're in dating this category, you can't also be in this category. So you have mutually exclusive categories, and they are set up from smallest to biggest like this. Then constructing your if is straightforward. You just start at one side. We're going to start at the greatest side. You do that if, then this if, then that one. Or you could do it the opposite. You could start at the low end. Start here, do your if, then this if, then this if. The advantage is, if you build an if that says, are your sales greater than or equal to 10,000? If that comes out false, it goes to the next if that says, is are your sales greater than or equal to 5,000? The beauty of this is you don't have to do an and, because to be in this category, you have to be between this and this. But by building your first if here, it's, and it comes out false, it eliminates that. So if it comes out true that it's greater than or equal to 5,000, it automatically is between these two numbers. So here we go. Equals if, and our test our logical test is going to be, are our sales greater than or equal to um, the last value in our table, 10,000? Comma, if that is true, what do we want? We want this 4%. Now, for the time being, all we're going to do is do an if that delivers the right commission rate, and then we'll uh, calculate the bonus from that. Right? So that's a value of true. Then you type a comma and value of false. Now, you look over here. How many things are left? There's two things, so you still have to do another if. If there was, yeah, so more than one thing left, you know you still have to do an if for the false. Because for the false, it doesn't know which one of these to put in the cell. So if, and then we have our sales greater than or equal to this 5,000, comma, then what do we want if that value is true? This. Now we do a comma, and how many things are left? There's just one thing left, so I'm just going to get that percentage rate right there. Close parentheses. Now, it's still a green color, and you can close, once you're done, you have all the things. We only have three things in our formula. You just type close parentheses until, until you see the black one. Control Enter. Oops, Excel is talking. Now that says two pennies. But that's just formatting. Don't get tricked by formatting. That's just a dollar amount. We know that 0.02 is the, uh, a number that is equivalent to 2%, which really the uh, number that 2% is representing is 0 0.02. All right, so we have that. Let's test it before we amend it. To test three ifs, you want to test each one of these categories. So I'm going to uh, type in like a 1 here and a better give us a zero. Now I'm going to type 5,000 
okay? Oh, and it gives us exactly what we want because this is greater than or equal to. And then I'm going to type a uh, 9999.99, which is the last possible value. Oh, it still gave us the right one. Now let's type 10,000. And there it is. It gave us the right value. Now all we have to do, uh, let's change this back to 6,000. We've tested all of the categories. That it's working just fine. So you put it into edit mode. And then you come to the end because this if is just delivering a one of these percentages to the cell. But now we're going to say times whatever your sales are. Now that if is just delivering a percentage to the formula, whatever your sales are times whatever your commission rate is. Control enter. And then there you go. Now that is uh, a good lesson in how to build a formula using multiple ifs. However, if you do have mutually exclusive categories and the table is set up from smallest to biggest, forget doing an if. You can switch straight to a V lookup. And uh, you go out there and you look at people's spreadsheets. A lot of people build uh, grade sheets this way, commission uh, tables this way, all sorts of things. You don't need to do it. You can come down here and I have the same table down here. And you use your VLOOKUP, which we've looked at a few times in this class, equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be this, comma, the table array is going to be first column has our numbers sorted, ascending from smallest to biggest. Highlight the table. First column has the thing we're looking up. Second column has the value we want to return, comma, column index. This is the column one two that has the thing we want to return, so two. And then comma, the uh, true or false, we do not need. We are doing approximate match, which means there's gaps in between our numbers. Or, yeah, so gaps in between our numbers. So true, we could type one or true or leave it omitted, not in there at all. So I'm going to backspace, close parentheses, and control enter. Oh, same thing here, F2 and times our sales. So the VLOOKUP is just delivering a varying percentage to our formula. Alright, uh, we'll see you next video.